Praise God. Welcome to Check-In Tuesday. Hope you and your family are doing well and safe. Last week we were live from the basement. I had a, a privilege and honor to be at the very place that God had started Morning Star Ministries. And it was great to look back and reflect on how it all started. Uh, what God did with Little, he's multiplied and the ministry has been so fruitful and we thank God for that. And uh, it, it's such a blessing to be able to look back and reflect on not only where God has brought you from as far as the storms in life, but also some of the many successes and uh, just great celebrations that lives are being changed and souls saved. And so we thank God for all the good work he's done through this ministry. And we thank Pastor Scott and Sister Scott for allowing us in their home and uh, seeing what God has, has done. It was truly truly a blessing even with the Panthers home decor it was still uh, very much a blessing but again thank you Pastor Scott and Sister Scott for uh, allowing us to do that if you're new to check in Tuesday it's one thing that we do each and every week to give you an update on the things we have going on in the ministry some of our uh, scheduled events plans and then a, a brief word of encouragement so moving into uh, the announcements, we have Reverend Steve Justice will be speaking tomorrow night. He'll be live streamed on our Facebook page at 7 p.m. and in person at Morning Star Church. Saturday morning, uh, Band of Brothers Director Eric Summers will be bringing us a message that will be out on Facebook. I definitely want to check that out. It's a, a great message, not only just for men, but uh, any child of God who definitely need to hear it and uh we're super thankful for Brother Eric is doing an amazing job with our band of brothers as the director. So Sunday morning, Pastor Scott will be speaking at 9 a.m. and 11. 11 a.m. service will be live streamed on our Facebook page. And then uh, moving into Sunday night, Reverend David Helton will be speaking. That will be at 6 p.m. And that will be live streamed as well and in person. Monday we will have our uh, Men on Fire men's conference again. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, more of a Bible study. And uh, we encourage all men to, uh, if you can, please come and join us. I believe with all my heart you will benefit tremendously from it. Uh, last night we had our, our first uh, meeting to get it. We had our workbooks and we dove into the first part of the lesson. And I'm just going to kind of, expand on on that just a little bit on what we covered so uh brother tony mullins he, he was leading this bible study and we had talked last night about a foundation every christian has to have a foundation on something that you, you're building your faith off of and i think it's so it was so important and, and brought out that a lot of people get caught up in their identity of what they're foundation is so you may be uh in ministry as a, a leader and that's that's your foundation or maybe it is your leader your pastor you're putting your foundation on them and all those will fall unless it's built on a firm foundation just like a house uh, any type of structure it has to be built on a firm foundation that is only jesus christ so i want to share the uh, scripture with you uh, this will be in uh, Matthew chapter 7. And it's in uh, verse 24. It says, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and it beat on the house, and it fell. And great was its fall. So you have to have a foundation before you start building anything. So uh, I want to show you a little uh, kind of demonstration, I guess. So 
for Christmas, I have got a, a 3D printer. Now, I'm a, a top secret nerd. But, and I'll show you a little bit in this video. You have to to get this thing going. And, and basically, what if you're new to 3D printers, so am I. But you can create some different things. And uh, depending on your imagination and skill set, you can build all kinds of things. But you to get it started, you have to have the foundation and in this case, the bed, it has to be right. The bed, the foundation has to be level. The temperature has to be right. It has to be correct before you can build anything or else you're not gonna have a successful build. So I wanna show you real quick uh, what, what we're doing, what we got in, uh, in the lab, so to speak, and uh, hope you kinda enjoy it. So guys, here's what I'm talking about. This is the the foundation or the bed of what we're getting ready to create. And if I try to create this on anything that is not level, that's not correct, is it's going to be a mess. So it's the same thing in our spiritual lives. We got to have that firm foundation, as we talked about in the scripture. So I'm going to make all the adjustments make sure that my foundation is right and hopefully i'll show you guys what comes on here at the end of it how it all turns out all right guys we got our foundation where it's supposed to be ready to build upon it just like in our spiritual life we got our faith and hope in jesus that's our foundation and our finished product we got the shield of faith that we create. Let me zoom in and get you a good picture. So once you have the foundation set in Christ, you can build upon it and your faith will continue to grow and build. So hope you guys find encouragement in that. And uh, if you like a shield of faith, just <laughs> Make a post in the comments here and we'll see what we can do. But hope you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you again next week.